All right, violin players, uh, I'm going to quickly go over all Lang's signs. This will be short, just for your reference, okay? It uses what's called the pentatonic scale. Um, we do have an F sharp in there at the very beginning, but after that, we don't see it anymore. So the pentatonic scale has five notes. G, A, B, D, and E. But we also use the lower E and D. When do we do this? Okay. So it only uses those notes except for there is an F sharp at the beginning when you go. That's the only time in the song it ever uses that note, okay? So it's kind of in two sections. Here's the first section. So that's the first section. Whenever we come to this E, that's the highest note that happens in the song, and it happens several times. So we want that to be dramatic, but we also want it to be clear and loud, but not so loud that it doesn't sound good. Notice that I'm still nice and tall. Notice my elbow. Notice my hand. There's space in there. I'm holding it here. Okay. So the second half starts on E. you'll probably start to hear some themes that happen over again, like... Okay. Um, a lot of it sounds similar, which can make it a little bit tricky, but once you have the melody in your head, it's very easy to not even use sheet music. If you need to use it, that's totally fine. And we probably will, just so we're very together when we play it, okay? But if you just memorize it, that will probably be the best, okay? I'll play it once through the whole way to kind of show you um, how I want it to sound, the style, and uh, the effect I want. That's it. If you have any questions, once again, you can just type them in below or ask me in person. Happy practicing.